Um, you have a big road win like we had last night, a lot of excitement, a lot of energy. Um, but again, it's a short term memory and we've got to turn the page very quickly and prepare for just a really good Tennessee team. And um, I always tell our team and staff if what we did yesterday still looks big to us today. We just haven't done much. So that's one thing I've appreciated about our team is their ability to refocus and let that go and get ready for the next one. Go ahead, James. Uh, hey, Coach. I wanted to ask you about uh, tomorrow's matchup with Tennessee being the We Back Pat game, and how much does that mean to you? Well, it means a lot, you know, being, um, you know, in the same, you know, environment or league with Tennessee and, um, you know, then from afar in the Big 12 and the Big 10 and the respect and the appreciation and having played at Tennessee back in the day with Louisiana Tech and that rivalry and um, just what Coach Summit has meant to me personally and professionally, I think as a mom, you know, having Kelsey and Kendall and the inspiration that you can coach at the highest level and compete at the highest level and also be a mom and be successful at home in the office. Um, it's always been a huge inspiration. She's always encouraged me, not only just being a role model and watching from afar, but you know, the conversations and times that we would see one another, I've always appreciated just um, how much she's inspired me to be a mom and a coach and a teacher. Roger. Coach, uh, looking at those tough moments in the second quarter yesterday, or maybe at halftime when you're down 11, who were some of the players that had their voices come up the loudest? Who were your biggest leaders last night? Well, without without a doubt, Jordan Lewis, uh, Jasmine Walker, you know, I thought were really special at halftime. Um, actually pulled she, uh, Jordan, Hannah, and Jazz out in the, the hallway, and we had a conversation. And, um, you know, I thought those three really uh, took control of the second half. Um, and we're a little bit, you know, they were trying so hard, you know, just settle down and let the game come to us, stick with the plan. I just thought their stick to itness, you know, really made a big difference for us. And I thought those three were phenomenal. When you look at Jordan and Hannah's numbers, you know, the assist to turnover ratio on the road in that environment against that top defensive pressure was special. James? Uh, Coach, Obviously, Tennessee, a very good rebounding team. I think they're uh, plus 15 on the margin. That was something that you told us going in the Mississippi State game was something you guys had to focus on. Uh, what, what have you seen from Tennessee? And uh, what, what do your players have to do to, to counteract that? Well, they're just so long. And they're not just long at the four and the five. They're long at the two. They're long at the three. Uh, they can even go a big lineup and be long one through five. And, you know, we're going to need to jump. Um, you know, the theme for us, um, for the game is scrappy. We've got to be the scrappiest team. And we're going to have to defend the glass. Um, we're going to have to give them one shot opportunities. You know, when they get points in the paint and they get putbacks, they're very hard to beat. And I think that's a category last night with the Georgia game. You look at how many points in the paint in the first half compared to the second half and how those came about. Um, that was the difference at halftime and then in the third and fourth quarters. So when you can defend the glass and give them one shot opportunities, you give yourself a chance, but we're going to have to jump. I mean, we're going to have to be physical. We're going to have to be fundamental and um, really, really scrappy. Roger. And in terms of scrappiness, I mean, Megan Abrams seems to define that with what she's able to do. Just what's led to her consistency over the last few games. Well, the thing with Megan is I think she's taken it personal that sometimes people don't guard her. And, you know, she's taken the window. She's countered. If you take away the drive and you sag, she's going to hit open looks. If, you know, you take away the, you know, the open look, she's going to put it on the floor. Um, I think she wants the ball in her hands. And she's just become more than you know, one-dimensional offensively with her hard work in the summer and getting a lot of shots up. So, um, yeah, she's, she's also, too, drawing the toughest defensive assignment. You know, and she's had a bad ankle. She's been in treatment um, nearly daily, all day here the past week. And so she's just a tough kid. You know, she's hard nosed, very smart. You know, she's a finance major on economics. I mean, she, she gets it on all sides and angles every single day. And she's done a great job of with her time management, both on and off the floor. And you're seeing some growth and maturity from her and her decision making. James? Uh, yeah, we saw Hannah Barber uh, kind of get hot from deep 
the last night. She's been struggling a little bit from three this season. Uh, what kind of changed for her, or was it just a matter of shoot your way out of it? Just tell her to keep shooting it. Get your feet set. We see it every day in practice. She's been really hard on herself, you know, and I, I've told her she needs to quit guarding herself and back off. You know, you're not going to make every shot you shoot, but you're going to miss every one of them you don't take. And we've just told her to keep shooting the ball. She's going to have to keep shooting the ball for us to be successful. And, um, you know, she, she, uh, she's so hard on herself. Again, it's like I tell her, though, you're going to miss every single one of them you don't take. Roger. And then uh, speaking of Megan, you said she, you know, she usually has the toughest defensive assignment. Does that include Renaya Davis for Sunday? And how do you try and slow down Renaya? Well, we're going to have to, you know, be who we are with that. And obviously, yes, you know, but also I'll say this. I think the most improved person on the Tennessee team is, is Burrell. You know, when you look at her numbers a year ago, um, her increased scoring, her increased rebounding, her increased percentages, um, it's unbelievable how much her growth has happened. So, yeah, we've got a matchup problem at several spots due to the length and size. But again, we, we've felt that here lately, you know, and we've just got to use our scrappiness and go out and execute the game plan defensively and be effective with our changing defenses. And, um, you know, depending on who they go with and, and what lineup they decide to play, whether it's Horston or Suarez, or if they go big inside, um, yeah, Meg's always going to draw, you know, one of those assignments. And um, she's just got to find a way to get it done. Anything else? All right, guys, thank you. Thanks, y'all. Have a good Friday.